I'm Tony Poulos and I'm at Communicasia 2015 in Singapore. Today I have with me Barry Jiang, who's the marketing director for Huawei Southern Pacific. Barry, welcome. Yeah, nice to meet you. You know, we've been hearing the term Internet of Things since the last century, the end of the last century, but what does it mean today? Well, from my point of view, the concept of Internet of Things is varied with the technology development. And it has four characters at this moment. So first is the identity. That is the original idea for the Internet of Things. So second is connection. So everything it should be connected and communicated with each other. That is the best understanding now. Third one is cloud. So all the data should be yeah, sent to the data and with the data analysis and the data uh, processing. So the fourth one is the control. That is the intelligent part. So that is the way we go to the smart city, smart nation, and smart world. That well, it's interesting because Every day there's a new device or sensor or something being announced that will be part of the Internet of Things. But how important are the networks in the scheme of things? So I think at this moment, the network is still a pipe. But I do believe in the future, for example, the 5G network will be a real platform which is a programmable yeah, to let everybody can, for example, the operator, consumer, partner, and the developer to enable all of the applications, sensors, and the device. And part of this, of course, will be mobile networks, an integral part. How important is the role of mobile networks in the Internet of Things? I think in the ten, next 10 years, everything will be on mobile. Yeah, so the mobile network will provide the global unique access yeah, to everything. You. Um you have to ask the question about 5G. I, I, I need to know now, okay. we're talking about 5G already. Okay. How important is 5G in the Internet of Things and is it really critical? 4G won't be enough to cope with this IoT load? Okay, so 5G is a uh, different technology with uh, the moment the 4G LTE technology. It has a new uh, architecture, new operation and a new air interface to provide the massive connections, massive uh, capacity and all of this, something is not happened, could be happened at the current 4G LTE network. And also, another important thing is the 5G network will have the network slicing functionality. This can make the uh, all vertical industry can come in yeah, to enable to make, provide the application for them. At, at this moment, the 4G network is uh, everybody, every application is just has the same resource, but in 5G, all of those things are different. And what needs to be done right now to make the Internet of Things, you know, accelerate? Yeah, ac exactly, accelerate. So I think they have three kinds of things need to be accelerated. First thing is the technology development and the research. So we need to have the new technology to make the 5G, the future network, next generation future network, to have the more connection capacity, to have more yeah, throughput capacity, and to have a longer life battery. Yeah, so the second one is we need to accelerate the standardization with the open collaboration across the industry and also involve all vertical industry to come in. So the next one, I think uh, they still have some other very important fundamental things we need to accelerate. For example, the IPv6 deploy deployment, the transmission network upgrade. And uh, let me guess, Huawei is playing a role in nearly all of those areas. Yeah, you actually. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Barry. Great to be with you today. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very thank much. You.